More Blue Jays action for you guys today. Battle of the Birds once again. A couple changes here. Batista playing the DH Morales, the first baseman. Pierce moves up to the left field, and Dalton Pompey replaces Batista in the right field. A lot of players on fire right now. Machado, Gentry, Hardy for the Orioles. So we'll see what happens here. We are at home this time around. Liriano will make his start. Start number 29, 6-9 record, just under 4 ERA. 139 hits in 141 innings. This isn't too terrible, actually, so... We'll see what happens here. Craig Gentry is fairly hot at bat right now. So we have to be a bit careful. Pitch around the zone. Don't give him, give him any meatballs early into the game. Right when I say that, we kind of have to feed him one because uh, we're already down 0-2. Now 0-3 with Adam Jones on deck. It does not make Liriano's job any easier. Inside fastball finally catches the zone. But uh, we'll have to pitch inside the zone once again. We don't want to be walking him too early. He does get a long drive to center field, and that's an easy catch for Kevin Pillar. Jonesy. He's going to pass on that pitch. Oh, wow. Good check swing. I'm not sure why it was check swing. It, it was not going anywhere. Now that's kind of dangerous. That is kind of dangerous. Yeah, I intentionally messed up that pitch just because I don't want to pitch inside too often. I know he's not much of a power hitter, but he's got great contact, so he can't do that. Oh, Pilar is able to get there with speed. This should be the final out of the inning if we can, uh, well, if we can take care of him. I'm hoping he swings at this one. Yeah, he does. Again, trying to get him to chase around the zone as much as possible. That was a poorly timed pitch, but we'll take it. Yeah, he swings at the slider, and he's out of here. Ubaldo Jimenez, 28th start of the season, 6 and 5 record, 4.6 ERA, 139 hits, and 66 walks, which is, again, not too bad. Fairly average, but not too bad. JD Josh Donaldson is leading the team in home runs. Not surprising. He's playing a lot more games than Batista. Uh, Joey Bats definitely having some stamina issues, uh, which is why he's playing the DH. And he probably will play the DH for a couple more games. I would. Estimate at least maybe 15 to 20 games. Obviously, we're not playing every single uh, game in the season. As I do pass on a slider. I don't want to ground out that early. And it's, it was an 0-1 count, or 1-0 count at the time anyways. Hits him in the leg. Let's see who gets there first. Yeah, he's not going to get there. Joey Bats, 25 home runs, 61 RBIs, 525 slugging percentage. Still playing fairly well, although it's probably average for him. One out, one on base. Bit of a wild pitch there. That's something you can hit, but it's a foul ball. Rolls out, across the line. It's a good hit. We'll take it. Man on first and second now. Neither runners very fast. So, can Morales bring us home? Still a 0 0 game. Bottom of the first. Actually, Morales probably the slowest guy in the squad here. He's got like 14 speed or something like that. Um. Could have grounded out to a double play. I decided not to once again. It is we were at one and no count, so that's fine. We can take a strike if need be. Just gonna pause right there. I 
I highly doubt any of these guys are stealing bases, but... I guess they are keeping the pitcher a little bit weary. Good for us, because you have to worry about the batter and the base runners at the same time. Gonna hammer one. Uh, it's a long drive to left field. Is it going to be out? Yeah, it's out. It's like a three-run home run, even better. I mean, no one's base stealing with those guys. 24th home run of the season, and it is a three-run homer. We'll take it. At first, I thought it was going to bounce off the wall or something, but it just kept going and going. Just behind a wall. Yeah. Good hit by Tulo, just above the second baseman. Craig Gentry. Got to be careful here. He's got red spots all over the zone. Trafford's a ground out. The 8-9 position is wide open. Relatively wide open. Um... Pitchers just got injured. Um, I don't know how that happened. They don't. They usually explain like they tore a quadricep or you know they pulled a tricep or something. Unfortunately, Liriano has to be taken out. He's been doing fairly well. I mean, he did give out a couple of hits, but nothing too major. No long balls. Now they're bringing Joe Biagini. He has a six and one record, uh, which is hard to believe. Four point seven two ERA, which is not that desirable, but he's got a pretty powerful arm. Uh, not the highest velocity, but he's got a pretty, pretty powerful arm. Fly out. And he's got a couple more innings to go. I'm thinking probably ride him for at least three to four innings, depending on the situation. His slurve is definitely pretty deceptive against most batters. So this is something we're going to try to milk as much as possible. I mean, as long as we don't give up too many hits... We should be okay. I think it's out of bounds. Yeah, it's, it's a foul ball. Now, Jonesy is not the fastest player either, but 70 speed can definitely warrant base stealing, depending on what happens. I give up a lot of stolen bases, so. Yeah, we send him packing. Good fastball. Machado. Best player on the team, probably. By like, not, not even probably. It's by a stretch, probably the best player. Arguably the best uh, third baseman, given his age. He's what? Well, he's like what? Uh, I want to say at least maybe five or six years younger than uh, JD. Could be wrong. He does swing at air? Take a strike two. And he chases a slurve outside the zone. Retired. Jason Aquino. He's coming in to relief already. He's already had three strikeouts in two innings. So I haven't... I don't, I don't have that much data on him right now. Um, got some fastball. Got a slider. Nice hit by Pompey. It's actually... Well... I think that was actually inbound. <clears throat> that infield double? Yeah, it bounces just inside. Yeah. It's a, sorry, it's a ground rule double. I said infield. That's what it meant. Devin Travis. Uh, mistimed that swing. Got slider and change up in his repertoire. I hate pitching or I hate batting against sliders or and slurves. Very hard for me to read the trajectory. So got to be a bit more conscious. Okay, fastball inside. We can afford to take a zone. The change up the slider is just really what I'm looking for to for to hit right now. Um, it's inside fastball again. This time inside the zone. Oh, we got me to chase. Uh, he broke the plane, though. He's not happy about it. Be a genie. 
I think this is his third inning already. Still pitching fairly well, uh, almost approaching 40 pitches. Um, he didn't count the slur, but falling quite behind against Jonesy. All right, it's a ground ball right at Donaldson. That should be an easy pickoff. Machado again. Check swing, but it doesn't matter. Joe is definitely on point right now. Hits it right at jo uh, Donaldson. Trumbo. And our power hitter. He's going to pull back, but it's in the zone. Doesn't matter. Let's see if we chase this one. Guess not. And we got him on a poorly timed pitch. It's a wild change up here. Bottom of the seventh. No outs. Nobody on base. We'll take it. It's a good hit. Again. Hits it right above the second baseman. We're not chasing those. However, we don't want to strand Donaldson either. We've already had two outs prior to this. Oh my goodness, that's a wild swing. A very early swing too, so that's no good. Got me again. That's strike two. Oh, right down the middle. Right down the middle. They were expecting a double play. They can still get it. They don't need one, but they can still get it at this point. Slider change it once again. He's doing a lot of fastballs, so. Ah, that's not a good hit. It's a fly ball. Should be an easy catch, and he's out. Strand two. JP Howell gonna come in. Statistically, does not have the best relief stats on paper, but I'm pretty comfortable him with him minus curveballs. Really, really like his sinkers. He's left-handed as well. And it should match up well with um, Craig Gentry. I think that's Craig Gentry at least. It's not a good pitch, but. His sinkers are definitely dangerous. Yeah, got him. Check swing doesn't matter. He does wisely pull back this time, though. And he's going to swing at that. So the curve, the curve ball actually worked this time. I think it's a bunt attempt or something. Check swing, bunt, something like that. He's out regardless. Oh, wow. He went for it. As a full body swing. Nice hit. Should be an easy catch for Batista. Or not so easy. Osuna going to come in to close things out here. I did mean to say Batista early, or Pompey early, not Batista. Batista I'm just too used to Batista playing the right field at this point. <clears throat> Good swing. Ground ball to second baseman. That's an easy out. Two more to go. Okay, we're not... We're not actually going to believe he's going to chase that. His changeups are pretty damn deceptive, too. You're going to rip one to 
right field. Pompey is there. Yes, okay. Got it right this time. Down to the last out. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. Fastball right up there is just a challenge. And that's a strike number two. Wow, it's a little bit lucky there. Go for the slurve. He's going to fight it off. I'm surprised the slurve ended up inside the zone. But I wanted to chase just to be safe. And he's out of here. We do close him out. It's a 3-0 victory. We'll take it. Thank you very much. We will take it. Actually, I believe it might be a note. Well... Is this a no hitter like animation? I'm not quite sure. I'll have to double check that. Um, is it? Anyway, I'll get back to that. I'll get back to you guys about that. That is the end of this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.